Hi there! Welcome to Hexatronic Masterclass! My name is Morten. And my name is Christel. And today we're going to take a closer look at the Hexatronic Airborne Fiber Unit. We're going to break this down into... We're going to talk a bit about what an Airborne Fiber is. We're going to yeah. install it. And we're going to strip it down to the bare fiber. So, Morten, let's talk a bit about what is an Airborne Fiber Unit. Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, I would say an airborne fiber unit, you can think of it as a very, very slim cable. To be able to make it this slim, what we do is that we place a number of fibers tightly together within an acrylate body. And then we extrude a very, very thin outer sheath on top of that. That way we can make it really, really small. It's In this size, it's just a little bit more than one millimeter in yeah. diameter. And we can also compare it a little bit to, to other type of cables. We can have a look at, uh, this is what we call a, a nano cable, a 24 fiber one, this one. 2.4 millimeter? Yes, correct. Uh, and here we have a couple of different micro cables. So we can see that the size goes up quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's a lot of more fibers, but uh, it's also best built up a little bit more uh, differently with a central strength member. Uh, tubes cabled around that one and then out the sheath and that's of course to get some kind of stiffness for for the installation mm -hmm. yeah and talking about the installation we install this type of product in microducts yes and that is a range I mean from 2.1 millimeter up to 12 in the diameter, yeah, yeah. That is in, in we're talking micro uh, what, what we have in micro yeah. duct, so but yeah. for this air blown fiber unit, normally, what you say, normally it would go from this 2.5 up to maybe six millimeter in a diameter, yeah. that's typical. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, the installation method also is something they all got in common. I mean, talking about the jetting method, yeah, and that is something we're going to cover in another episode. So yeah, what do you say, so, Martin? Should we go outside and install this one and I think that's see how that's done? Sounds very good. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, time to install the fiber. Yeah. So now we're here in in our showroom where we have built up a, a track from where we will blow from this cabinet to the end customer, the last drop. Uh, the distance here is not very long, but uh, to make it more realistic, we have a long loop. So we have approximately 50 meters yeah. from the cabinet to the customer mm -hmm. to simulate some kind of customer installation. Yeah. So what have we done so far? We have set up the installation tool. We have connected it with a 5 mm micro duct yeah. to the 7 mm micro duct that we're going to blow in. And then we have the fiber, we have the compressor, and that's all we need. That's all we need. So, should we all right. talk a little bit about the installation tool before we get started? Yeah, uh, we can do that. Uh, I think we have mentioned it a little bit before. We use a technique called jetting. Uh, so, it's a, a technology that uses uh, mechanical pushing in combination with the flow from uh, compressed air. So when we start to do the installation, we always start with just mechanical pushing. And then when we need, we will add the air. So we'll see how it works. Sounds great. I'll start the compressor and I'll run over to the customer side. Yep, do so. All right. So then we can start. I will just start to push the fiber unit. Now we can see that it starts to slow down a little bit and then we can then we can add some air to the installation and we're up to speed again. There we go. A little bit more. Thank you very much. Okay? That's enough. Now 
that went well. Yep. So now we, we want to have some fiber on yes. this end as well. Just loosen this one and you can give me a little bit. And push a little bit again. Yes. Ah, that's enough. Okay, so the next <coughs> thing we want to do is to seal the microduct. This is one way of doing it. Anything you want to add, Morten? No, I mean this. This is this acts as both a, a watertight seal and also a strain relief exactly. for for the so to grab onto the fiber because mm. now the fiber is quite loose. But if we install this one all the way to the bottom so it sits then it grabs on quite hard actually yep i cannot really do anything there all right so the installation is done uh, let's head back to the studio and we'll take a closer look at how to strip the fiber unit so now the fiber is blown in uh, so I think it's time to start removing the outer sheath, prepare for termination. Yeah. What do you say, Christy? You want to show us? I will do that. As you can see here, we have three different tools. We will start with this hexatronic stripping tool. And as you can see, it has two grooves. The outer groove is two to six fibers. Inner groove is eight to 12 fibers. And this is a two fiber unit. So we'll use the outer groove. So about 15 centimeters in, lay the fiber in the groove, squeeze tight, straight down, pull. Nice and easy. Yeah. Repeat. Mm. And just continue yeah. the length you want the outer sheet to be removed. Are there any special tricks you need to think about when you do this? Or? As I said, you want to pull straight down, push yeah. straight down. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to wiggle around like that. No. So maybe we should just go on with this one. Yeah. A similar tool. Yeah. Similar tool. Uh, I need to do that. Or a similar way of doing it, more or less. Uh, this one also has two grooves. There is a smaller one uh, furthest out. So that's the one we're using now for the two fiber units. Same order as this one. Yeah. Uh, still 15 centimeters something. We put it in the groove and then we place the thumb on top of that and push with the thumb, not very hard, but mm. so that you can feel that you're exactly. pushing it down there. And then you just pull. Because you have a sharp edge here, so you don't have to push it too hard. You no. just want it to kind of bite in. Yeah, to the you want sheath. it to bite in, in the outer sheath. Uh, so that's the way to do it. And I see also you use a little bit of an angle when you... Yeah, uh, it's something you have to try out what mm -hmm. works w best for you. But a little bit of an angle like this when you, when you pull. And also one thing to mention is you're left-handed. Yeah. Uh, but if I would use it, I would have to use it the same way. Yeah. Or because flip it's it very imp important to get this sharp, sharp side on the outer edge here that you're pulling, and mm -hmm. then normally it's easier to do it with your left hand like this. Yeah. And also have the thumb, and you can see what you're doing yep. when you have it up. Yeah. Yeah. You could flip it around and do it that way. Yeah. But then it's. I don't know, I, I prefer to do it with my left hand as well, even though I'm right-handed. Yeah, but then some people might say that 15 centimeters the time is it's too little. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to take away more at the time because they might want to take away two meters or something. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So we how do we do that? Uh, this type of tool is what I prefer for that type of yeah. thing. So it's a shaving tool. You have a sharp knife here, and you just put the unit. Should we? Maybe you can cut it off. Cut it off. So we yeah. start from the beginning again. Exactly. Like that. Thank you, Morten. And you want to set up this tool before you use it. So I prefer to just 
try it at the far end and just see how much it shaves off and here you can see we got a bit of acrylate yeah coming out so that means it cuts too deep it's a little bit too deep it's a little bit too deep yeah so we should adjust it should adjust it oops you see that was the lowest setting so we try to do flip it up one step to the second setting That looks perfect. Yep. Takes away a yeah. little bit. And that is enough. You don't it's a very thin jacket on these yeah. the outer sheets. Yeah. I mean, it's so how much should we take away? I mean take we can do twenty meters, but it wouldn't be necessary today, I believe. <laughs> I don't think we so. We can just show how we'll take it. A little bit exactly. more. Than you have to be a one bit half careful half. when you put it here. You want to see that it falls into the groove mm. before you squeeze it. Yeah. And then you squeeze? Exactly. Squeeze it tight. Press it. Press it. Quite and then hard. just pull. Yep. Looks nice. And then I like to use this Miller stripping tool and just get a nice and easy. Yeah. And now we have two meter or exactly. whatever we want yeah quite quickly yeah mm. that's good so that are a couple of ways of removing the outer sheet yeah so and the reason really for that we can't do it with these type of tools uh, with with the scissors and, and this one to take away longer length is we could have made it easier to remove the outer sheath but uh, it's really really important that these units work as as one unit the exactly. total unit should work as one so that we don't have any slippage between any any part in 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 the blown fiber unit mm -hmm. so that way we have to to extrude the the outer sheath really tight to to the acrylate unit yeah yeah that's right so should we move into the fiber unit a bit deeper? Yeah, we want to reach into the single fibers inside. Mm -hmm. So, and then you just want to remove a tiny portion of the acrylate yeah. at the end, just to free out the fibers. Yeah. So we're not supposed to use this one for the whole length. We're just to yeah. supposed to use it to reach yeah. the fiber. And here you can see the individual fibers if we look close. If yeah. I can get them out. And this was supposed to be a two fiber unit. Yeah. I think I didn't do it really properly at the beginning. So let's start over. You're allowed to do mistakes. Of course. Here we go. Yeah. Here we have the three fibers. Yeah. So, but we said two fibers. So exactly. One is actually a filler. In this the one case. in the middle, that is the filler. Yeah. And that is what I usually start with. Yeah. So I just hold the, the blue and the red. Yeah. And, and just pull. Just pull. The black one. Open up the whole. For unit. as long as you have opened the outer sheet. Yeah. I keep some of it to the next. And then do the same thing with the blue. Then you separate them. Uh, this normally, normally it goes away directly all the acrylate from one of the fibers. Exactly. I would say, in most cases. Yeah, and that's why I started with the blue. Yeah. Because I saw that one was like kind of yeah. free already. Yeah. And then you see the acrylate is still on the the red one. Yeah. Usually I just wiggle around a bit like that at the end to get a start. Yeah. And then just carefully. Remove the rest. Yep. And just continue with that until you're done. Hmm. Well, that looks nice. Yeah, looks quite a bit of a mess here now, but <laughs> try to clean it up a bit <laughs> yeah. before we go on. There is actually an alternative way to to reach into the fibers if you don't want to use that uh, the Miller tool. That you sounds interesting. Let's you can see what you you can actually also crush this outer acrylate 
with this tool that we used earlier, but you place it this way instead, and then you just push. So we can see that the fiber goes in there, the fiber unit, and we crush it like that. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. crushes the yeah. outer sheet. And it just scrapes off the acrylate. Yeah, and then we have the, the fibers free here. Yeah. So we have the same same as uh, situation as you had. Mm -hmm. And then we can just take the, the black one and pull. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be done. Yeah. Good job, right. Martin. <laughs> you too, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the Hexatronic Masterclass today. I hope you found this information useful. And Morten, you want to wrap it up, add something? Uh, well, as you've seen in this episode today, it's uh, not too complicated to work with these type of products. But if you still have thoughts about how to do things, please feel free to contact your local hexaphonic office. Thank you. Thank you.